Minister of Communications, Sri Jyoti Radhindya Sindhya Ji. Honorable Minister of State for Communications, Dr. Chandrasekhar P. Masani Ji. Chairman of DOT, Dr. Neeraj Mittal Ji. My esteemed senior colleagues from the industry and distinguished delegates, Namaste. My heartiest congratulations to our visionary and incredibly dynamic leader, Sri Narendra Modi Ji, for gracing this edition of the India Mobile Congress in his historic third term as Prime Minister. Adhanya Pradhan Mantri Ji, under your visionary guidance, the India Mobile Congress has grown in stature and achieved global standing, making it a significant platform for digital innovation and collaboration. Because of your encouragement to the industry and innovation, India has been digitally transformed by perhaps the biggest digital revolution in history. In new India, in Modi ji's India, there's no more business as usual. Rather, there's unusual synergy between government and industry to deliver world-class services to satisfy the needs and expectations of 1.45 billion Indians. As a representative of Young India, I thank you for your incredible connection with the youth and for inspiring us to pursue impossible-looking goals. As we say in Hindi, Modi hai to mumkin hai. For our international audiences, <laughs> Modi makes everything possible. Friends, the world is in awe of a nation that crawling at 2G speed only eight years ago is now galloping down the 5G highway. I would like to assure Prime Minister that India will have an even better record in 6G. From a nation that ranked a lowly 155th in mobile broadband adoption, we have risen to become the world's largest data market. From a nation where the number of unicorns could be counted on a single hand, fingers of a single hand, we have now emerged as the third largest unicorn hub in the world. UPI has become the world's number one digital payment system. Today, India stands as the only large country in the world that has one of the lowest mobile data prices and yet one of the fastest internet speeds. India is per capita but our data consumption of over 30 GB is one of the highest in the world. But that is only half the picture. The other half tells you India's story of digital transformation is an example of inclusivity. Modi ji has ensured that innovation leads to more inclusion. He has democratized digital technology and used it as a tool to take the benefits to the last mile, leaving no one behind. Pradhan Mantri Narendra Modi ji, आपके दूरदर्शी नेतृत्व ने एक चमत्कार कर दिया भारत में अब सिर्फ सबका साथ सबका विकास ही नहीं बल्कि सबका डिजिटल साथ और सबका डिजिटल विकास भी हो रहा है इंडियाज डिजिटल रेवोल्यूशन हैज स्प्रेड टू द रिमोटेस्ट कॉर्नर्स ऑफ आवर नेशन ओवर 530 मिलियन अनबैंक्ड इंडियंस हैव बीन ब्रॉट इनटू द फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम थ्रू जन धन अकाउंट्स टू पुट थिंग्स इनटू पर्सपेक्टिव 530 मिलियन is more than the combined population of the US, UK, France, and Canada. What is even more heartening is that over 300 million of these account holders are women. I feel both proud and humbled that Jio has played a significant part in this remarkable transformation. Distinguished participants, I take the opportunity of the India Mobile Congress to present two suggestions for the kind consideration of our Prime Minister. My first suggestion, artificial intelligence is the most revolutionary tool of transformation invented by the human mind. It will disruptively transform every aspect of our life, every facet of our society, every sector of our economy, and bring in an era of unimaginable abundance and efficiency. With AI, India has the potential to completely transform the manufacturing centers including SMEs, so that India becomes a new age factory and new age service center for the world. The agriculture sector, so that our farmers can become prosperous by growing more with less water. The health sector, so that quality health care for all can become a reality. The education sector, so that every Indian student can have the best of learning opportunities. AI is absolutely critical for realizing our dream of a Vixit Bharat by 2047. Therefore, India, under your 
leadership should urgently embrace AI with a holistic strategy driven by maximum Atman Hirbhar efforts. At GEO, we have begun our efforts to bring benefits of AI to every Indian, just as we did with mobile broadband. We are committed to democratizing AI, offering powerful AI models and services to everyone in India at affordable prices. Towards this end, we are laying the groundwork for a national AI infrastructure. My second suggestion, the scale and speed of multilingual data generation in India, which will drive the AI revolution, will grow exponentially. We request the government to expedite the updating of the 2020 draft of the data center policy that Indian data should remain in India data centers. Therefore, Indian companies ready to set up AI and machine learning data centers should get all necessary incentives, including incentives for power consumption. Indian mobile companies, along with the thriving ecosystem, are in a position to offer solutions to the rest of the world, including developed nations. India needs an accelerated talent generation on a scale that is necessary to make India a global AI leader. Some of the existing jobs will evolve, and many more exciting opportunities for employment and entrepreneurship are going to be created in a rapid way, just like during the adoption of computers and the internet. In conclusion, it is our promise not only that India will lead the charge in mobile innovation, but we will fully embrace the power of AI to create a connected, intelligent future that is truly transformative for every Indian. Thank you. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.